So much love, everyone. Uh, coming with an important message that I want to give to everybody. And so, you know, take it however you want. Um, definitely want certain people need to have an understanding of others. And they need to understand. So much love, everyone. I want to talk about Jesus and being a divine being versus being that energy field of unconditional acceptance, unconditional love, you know, and that's a tough one. That's a tough one for what people do in this world and due to the ones we have unconditional love for and different situations and things like that. It's hard to, you know, but putting all those situations that people throw in these extreme situations where you're, you know, being that divine being and channeling that energy and becoming it is what it's all about. You know what I mean? Not bowing down to it. Jesus in these certain figures or people that has came along or these divine beings that have came along and showed us or showed people around them and it's still happening today an energy field a representative of this energy field is an example so we could be that energy field you know what i mean not to bow down to it and be condemned if you're not there so it's really crazy seeing certain people judging i'm going to show you an example of that because you're not because you're not with the word spells because you don't have the same creator name you know there's a creator you know there's the creation you know what it's like to be good and to see someone with that consciousness in that energy field of unconditional acceptance unconditional love and just being a good person in that high energy field and for people not to recognize that where when people have overcame things like I have with severe depression and sharing what we have overcome and for people to come along and say, how dare you not go through Jesus? How dare you not go through scripture to, to save yourself? You did it wrong. I mean, people are overcoming things all the time. And it's like, if you don't overcome it my way or this way, you are condemned. How dare you? They can't just look at the person or what they overcame and be happy for them and be thankful. They have to condemn them. This is a big time spell, my friends. I'm gonna show you something real quick. This is what they want when it comes to Jesus. You know, again, I don't know what's true or not, but there is definitely something super real with this and super powerful. But this is what they turn it into. Carrying the cross, talk, thinking about his death, showing a divine being's torture and, and, and crazy death. They want you to focus on that. That's what they, you, you see what I'm saying? They want you to focus on that and not being it, being that divine being, regardless of what happens to you, to represent that energy field, no matter what. See, this is sigil magic, my friends, with the cross, this whole entire thing. And they would rather you just think that I need to bow down. I need to say this. I need to ask for forgiveness to this energy field, to this being, to this God. And I'm a worthless sinner instead of just being it. How was Jesus really? You know what I mean? How was Jesus really back in these days? Would he look at somebody like my situation with severe depression and how I overcame it with a journal and put all that energy into a book? Would Jesus have looked at me and said, how dare you not go through scriptures for it? Would he have condemned me for that? No, he would be happy. He would be happy for it. He came to destroy the religion, to say this is not the way. You know what I mean? Not saying that I am the only way and you have to go through God. It was more of a, and we don't know what they threw in there. They threw all these extras on the story. Now, for me, coming from as an outsider in and really looking at it with a bird's eye view, this is not, this is a big magic spell they have on people. 
They want you to not tap into that energy field. They want you to condemn people for not bowing down. You know what I mean? And, and being submissive and being obedient and begging, begging, begging. You're the only way, this and that. While we have people all over the world born all over situations, a lot of them don't have access to the same scripture you do. It's not in their culture. They have a different way. But people tap into this energy field in multiple areas and ways without books, without scripture and stuff like that. Why can't we look at that? And be thankful that they're there, no matter what way they did it. And Jesus would have been the same way. He wouldn't have said, oh, how dare you become Christ-like through the Quran or through, you know, whatever other scriptures or whatever other examples that you took and, and applied it. How dare you not go my way? That's not Jesus, people. Now, what I want to do is... Hopefully the audio is working. I want to share this clip. So I tapped into to an energy field yesterday, people. And I got a vision of this. I got a vision of this. It was mind-blowing. Of this and the Pope and the Cross and how this is a big magic spell on the people. To have them focus on this. Instead of being that being. You know? So it was pretty profound and overwhelming, and it was a very powerful thing. And I realized what they've done and the people that have followed suit and not questioned things because they gave you all this confusion and different gods and territorial leaders and translations and all this stuff to confuse you and for you to not step into and, and connect with that one consciousness regardless of somebody's way if they're in that energy field that should all that be that matters and there should be no judgment in that however they get there it doesn't matter and jesus would have thought the same thing now in this thought process i was in last night i went somebody was live and i went to her live stream and there was an exact moment of this it was crazy I'll tune into somebody that's live or something, and it'll be an exact moment that I need to see. So let's get into this. This is from EYA, and this is her show last night, her little fellowship thing. Um, so check this out. This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about, people. Now listen up. I actually use my strong concordance, which you know now I found out who strong was. I don't know if y'all know that. Um that's that's another weird story. Do you, do you know do you know about that? He was an attorney and he was a discredited attorney and blah 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 blah. But um, uh, well, I, I don't want to get too. Another show. Another show. Huh? A wicked Freemason. Yeah, yeah. Now listen so, up, people. Listen up to this guy that's talking, okay? And them two there, and when he brings up my brothers and sisters, my Muslim brothers and sisters, I talk with all types of people. Now listen up closely. I'm going to show you the programming. The very not Christ-like, they're such hypocrites. You are not Christ-like. These people that come along and judge and say, how dare you not go this way and condemn us is such a dark, evil energy that's not Christ-like at all. Such so hypocritical. When even Jesus said, what is the biggest commandments, Lord? Tell us now. And he said, love your creator and love your neighbor. Boom. While I see these cold call followers of Christ and all this, they give so much energy to this while acting dark and condemning people from the creator's perspective that they can't have. You aren't the creator. So listen to this panel here when he brings up my Muslim. I even talked to my Muslim brothers and sisters and look at the reaction. This is a perfect example. Listen. But um, but so. So I, I like it. I just want to end on a good note. So, I mean, I'm, I, I have a lot to say, but it's, I you know, we're it's, just, I think that we have to remember that, um, I mean, again, how great is it that we can have these conversations and share information and then we can all come to our own conclusion mm -hmm. about the matter. We need to have more right. conversations that are a little controversial and have these <laughs> yeah, I think so. about things. Yeah, I, be I love people. being challenged. I love talking to people. I love, you know, I, I seriously, seriously, seriously. I love having, you know, conversations with uh, 
with my Islam brothers and sisters, you know, with the Hindu well, let's brothers stop and right sisters. There. Okay, wait, here you go again. I don't call I love having Muslims conversations with them. brothers and sisters. I don't call Muslims brothers and sisters. Neither do they're I. They're not my brothers and sisters. Oh, if they're... There he goes. I don't call Muslims my brothers and sisters. How dare you have conversations with a Muslim? And what did Muslims look at Christ as? Not exactly the way the Christians do. It's just a different story, but he's considered a prophet, a very powerful divine being that we need to be like. I mean, you can get deep into this. And so again, it's another tool of division. This is the whole reason why they brought this along and changed the story and brought this whole thing so you condemn people and you stay in your little clique, your little cool kid club that's in your little belief system and you condemn and you separate from anybody else, regardless of what they're acting like. You could have a, an evil person that maybe tortures children outside of your little clique, but says Jesus is my savior and they're in the club now. I'm saved, I'm born again through Jesus. They're saved, they're in the cool kid club now but you don't know if they're really living it. And then someone that's living it could come along and you condemn them, you separate from them because they don't say the exact words as you. Because they're not in the cool clip. They didn't fall for the certain, the little magic spells. It's very dark and wicked. They're, if, they're, if, they're, if they're not, uh, if they're not- and They're uh, not born uh, again, they're not my brothers or sisters. So, so who said that they weren't born again? If they're not born again, they're not my brothers and sisters. Come on, people. What is this? What is the exact scriptures that say you must be this, you must be that? And how do we know that these weren't manipulated for this exact type of situation? We know how they do things, these powers that be, these bloodlines. So this Jesus character that came along, obviously they're gonna twist things and confuse just like they do everything else. So if a divine being comes along and represents an energy field, we know that the powers that be are going to confuse it, make it into something, this and that, and put you in an energy field of not being that being, but representing another energy field that's condemning, judging, and separating from that one consciousness. And here's a prime example, my friends. Let's play this out and then we're going to continue. I want to make this long. Let me rewind a few seconds here. Well, let's stop right sisters. there. Okay, wait, here you go again. <laughs> I don't call. I love having Muslims conversations with them. brothers and sisters. I don't call Muslims brothers and sisters. Neither do they're I. Not my brothers and sisters. Oh, if they're, if they're, if they're, wow. if they're not, uh, if they're not, and they're uh, not born uh, again, they're not my brothers and sisters. So, so wow. who said that they weren't born again? That's so. Crazy. I called them my brothers Muslims. and sisters, didn't I? You just said that you're Muslims, brothers Muslim. and sisters. You said there Muslim, Muslim brothers, brothers and sisters. sisters. No, there's there is not. Jewish brothers and sisters. Wow. <laughs> Muslims Ladies. are not our brothers and sisters. Okay. No, they're they're a different religion. Okay. Let's 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 say you're. I think. Again, like I said in the last stream, I've met so many Muslims. I've known a lot of Muslims, especially when I was an executive chef that worked for me. And in my life, I swear, I've never been judged once by a Muslim in my life. Never. They paint this picture as these extremists, all this stuff. Never been judged like these people and condemned from the creator's perspective. Like they know what the creator is going to do with me. You know what I mean? Like they know my path spiritually. Like they, they could tell me, you know, this and that, that was given you to you by the enemy to divide us. Anybody, I don't care about your outside labels or what you believe in. It's all about what energy field I see you in. You know what I mean? If I'm resonating, I go based off energy off people, not their belief systems and their labels. It's not very Christ-like and Christ wouldn't either. He wouldn't care if you're whatever or anything. Said, so be that fucking frequency, be that energy field. That's what it's all about. Being versus bowing down for forgiveness to it versus bowing down. Imagine an energy field. We have a wide range of energy fields from fear and hate and anger down here all the way up to unconditional acceptance, unconditional love, that super light ascension vibe. 
Do you want to ask for forgiveness to an energy field or become and be that energy field? Let's play this out, people. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. You know, Jay, I have to ask you. You're not a Freemason, are you? <laughs> no. Uh -oh. No. But see, you're laughing about it. Uh, I, 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 I mean, it. You know why? You know why? Because, because, because it's 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 exactly what i've been saying through the whole stream i say something and you attack and you don't even know what you're attacking you, you call them as attacking your sisters defenses. that's it was right out of your own heart that you said that out of your own mouth we didn't say it you said it throughout the I night sure did. i sure did i did say it and if a i said they're my muslim brothers and sisters are they my muslims brothers and sisters no, they're not. No, they're Again, not. Again, ladies, you do not realize what you're doing. Wow. I mean, come on, people. What are we supposed to be doing here? Reading scripture all day and decoding it and reading it over and over and again all day instead of just being Christ-like, being that energy field? Be that. Don't just talk about it all day and how someone else was in it and how we need to beg down to it and bow down to it and just recognize it all day. That's someone that's in that energy field and lived in that energy field. Be it. Be it. See, they're they're total hypocrites. It's a very dark vibe of division and judgment and insecurity and fear. They project on others something that's definitely not Christ-like. The opposite of being Christ-like. And obviously, a lot of this has been manipulated, changed. I mean, the translations, when you get to look deep into this, and people are taking the translations, and they're, they're cherry-picking verses and, and throwing it at people and not getting the whole big picture outside of the programming of what this is. They want you to judge and bow down to, to that energy field and ask for forgiveness to an energy field, to a state of being, rather than being that being. Do we get it yet? Wow. Now let's see when she kicks him off because he has conversations with Muslims and different people outside of this belief system and calls them brothers and sisters. How dare he do that? Isn't that more Christ-like than your being? Very much so. And then you trump up and you try to intimidate two women. Yeah. And to me, it makes no, me think No, no, no. I think two women are trying to intimidate one man. man. You're trying there to you have, go, right? you are trying to intimidate two women and come across that you have more knowledge than us and that you're going to teach us a lesson. He's, no, That's you said he's trying to come along and intimidate you guys. Now it's intimidation saying I have conversations with Muslims, my brothers and sisters and all types of people. How dare you do that? If they're not born again, I don't even talk to them. Now get out of here. This is so disgusting. This is a prime example. And this is mild compared to what I've been through and what we go through and these other people. Wow. Let's finish this out, guys. Humble wow. You said that. You said that. I didn't say that. You said that. I'm sorry. This is, it's, it's just too much. Please. There's it's honestly, my alarms, I'll be honest. I'll, you know me, Kat. I'm straight up. My alarms are going off, and they have been. And yeah, when You know what I'm going to do? Hold on, Christine, stay with me. Jay, thank you so much for calling in. I've had enough, and I want to say thank you for sharing your thoughts, your opinions. I will just exhort you, brother. You need Bless to rein you. it in. You need to rein it in, and you need to have a really be very concise with your language because I can tell you that will lead people astray. And fortunately, you're talking to people who are solid and grounded in the wow. truth. Amen. So Amen. We, can, we literally can identify things that to another person, they could be easily deceived. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're just going to tell you. I'm glad you called in. Very interesting. And I pray God's blessing and favor over you and your family in Jesus name. I'm going to let you go now. Okay. In Jesus name. You. What a hip. Can I, can I, can I, can I say goodbye as well? <laughs> Yes, you can. Okay. Good night. Um, I'm not going to keep going on. Oh, it's so, you guys are so Christ-like. Sorry. You guys are so Christ-like. 
while you come across somebody that says, I talk to all these different people, all walks of life as my brothers and sisters, the same thing, way Christ would. And to condemn them and divide with them because of it. And say, how dare you call other people that's not born again a brother and sister? How dare you connect with them? How dare you connect with these people that's not born again? And don't you dare call them my brothers and sisters. Well, they all are my friends. It's not Christ-like whatsoever. It's very dark and wicked. It's so disgusting. So, are we trying to condemn people and judge people and bow down to this energy field or become it? Which, what is it? See, they had to make it something like, oh, they want you to revere this person as a god and the creator and I can never be this. Instead of just being it. And then people come along that is this. And for you to condemn them and judge them and separate from them because they don't, they say, I'm not born again. I'm not this and that. I don't have this belief system, but I am that energy field. I am good. They don't care, my friends. They don't care. As long as you're, if you're not in the club, they want nothing to do with you. It's so not Christ-like, Christ -like, it's not even funny. So anyways, I just wanted to share that real quick and uh, much love. We'll be back soon. I'm starting a seven day fast today, my friends, and we'll be back soon. I'm going to play it out by ear, but we're going to be coming with some very, very important stuff. I want to get this out of the way first and cover this topic once again. And so people can understand where we're coming from and to see this behavior and how it's so not Christ-like. It's not even funny. Well, they have, I mean, it's so hypocritical, dark and wicked. It's not even funny. I don't want to keep going on. Everybody, much love, and um, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.